Rik har 20,7 megapixels i en uh, smartphone-kamera. Det er ret mange megapixels. Uh, kan du prøve at beskrive lidt og fortælle lidt om, hvordan man har fået uh, uh, sensor- og kamerateknologi puttet ind i uh, et design, der ikke har en, uh, en bule bagpå? Ja, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the big achievement, actually. And, and we, we have been very successful in the camera industry lately with putting big sensors in small cameras with the RX100 and RX1 series. And, and it, now it's exactly what we're doing in the smartphone business as well. So we're actually putting the technology from basically mid-range compact cameras into uh, a smartphone for the very first time. So without then making the, the phone bulky or, or thick in any way. So it's eight and a half millimeters thin, even though it has a sensor which is the same size as in, in a normal compact camera. And the sensor size is super important when you take photos because you get more light, you, you get the opportunity to get some, some blur in the background, etc., which you don't get the smaller sensor you have. So, so a bigger sensor is really key to all of this. And, and to be able to achieve that in, in eight and a half millimeters, you also, of course, need to have a very, very strong knowledge and, and competence when it comes to lens uh, development. So the lens of this is a 27 millimeter wide angle lens with an op- aperture of 2.0, which also gives good light, etc. But it's also what makes it possible to have such a big sensor in such a small space as, as the Xperia Z1. Kan du prøve at beskrive, hvor stor sensorerne er i forhold til øh, konkurrerende produkter? Øh, der forstår jeg, at I har altså, gjort mere plads til sensorerne i, i den her, øh, frem for øh, eksempelvis øh, Apples øh, iPhone 5. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the current flagships on, on the, the Android and also iPhone market is basically uh, one divided by three inch. That's a measurement that's used for, for camera sensor measurements. In this, it's one divided by 2.3 instead. And if you would put that in scale beside each other, you will see that adding the diagonal of, of a sensor, of course, makes the surface uh, even bigger. So, so it's, it's actually, I think, almost twice as big when it comes to surface. Uh, compared to the the Xperia Z or or iPhone 5 for example. So so that's what of course brings in the more light etc. Then we've also added our our Beyond's uh, processing engine from the compact cameras into this phone in software though because we have a very strong processor in this product as well. And what that does is that it gives you all of these features in the auto mode etc. So in the auto mode for example all the pictures you get out of the phone is actually 8 megapixels even though the sensor is 20.7. And that is for us to be able to both offer zoom up to three times zoom without basically deteriorating the the quality and also to offer special features like uh, HDR when you have strong light in a picture or um, multi-layered noise reduction when you have very little light and you you could add a lot of noise by by just lowering the uh, or high, uh, upping the ISO value all the time but rather you take more pictures and layer them to to kind of remove noise from the picture.